Today we are tackling a table that looks innocent at first glance, but has a hidden problem. Some rows start with blank cells before the actual data. If you ignore it, you'll run into some problems like misaligned data and formulas that silently fail. So we need a methodical approach to clean this table while keeping data integrity intact. Before we do any transformation, we need the table inside Power Query. Table from table range. Let's take a closer look. Some rows have leading nulls, only the first four columns are meaningful, and the remaining columns are noise. And ideally we want a scalable, automatic solution. I'll start with creating a new step. The first function we will use is called table transform rows. It allows us to apply any transformation we need to each row. The first argument is the table we will transform, the source table. And the second is our transformation. I'll type each and the underscore symbol as a placeholder. The underscore symbol means current row. The result is a list of records, each containing all the values in current row. But we only want the values of each record. So let's use a record field values function. It converts the row into a list of values. This step is crucial. It enables us to use list functions in Power Query, which are very powerful. For example, list skip. A list skip removes a certain number of items from the start of a list. The syntax here is very simple. We need a list and a number of items to drop. Many people don't realize the number of items to skip doesn't have to be fixed. You can calculate it dynamically using a condition. For example, each underscore equals null tells Power Query skip items as long as the condition is true. Here it skips all leading nulls, so the moment it hits a non-null value, it stops skipping. Dynamic behavior very different from just giving a number. This makes list skip extremely flexible. You are no longer limited by fixed position. In messy tables, this is often the only way to reliably align data, because different rows may have different numbers of blanks at the start. Now we need to keep only the first four meaningful columns. Columns, date, product, customer, and quantity. So let's use list first n. The limit here is 4. By limiting the output, we avoid picking up trailing noise or accidental extra columns. By the way, this number can be dynamic too. What do we see now? All the nested tables are fully prepared, so it's time to combine them. I'll create a new step and use table from rows function. Always convert back to a table after list transformations, unless the end goal is a list output. The table is almost ready, just promote the headers. And now Power Query knows which row contains actual column name. And done. Data is clean, no leading blanks, and ready for analysis. The problem in messy tables is often hidden misalignment, so fix it systematically. Don't just patch it up. And don't forget, the more likes the video gets, the more challenges I'll cover in future tutorials. See ya!